In true spirit of time saving there is no intro to this video, so let's jump into our first tip. It's autocomplete. If you are entering repetitive data like this, don't type it manually or copy paste it, there is a much faster way. Just hold down Alt key and press down arrow. This will activate drop down list of autocomplete choices that you already entered above and go ahead and choose your data. Here we need sales. But keep in mind that this is not working with numbers, just with text, when I press alt and down arrow here, there is nothing to choose from. Okay, let's jump to next one. With larger data sets like this one here, you need to use scroll bar to review everything. Instead of this, you can just hold down control and shift key and then use your mouse wheel to scroll horizontally, like this. On top of that, if you want to use zoom slider, you can do it also with mouse wheel. Hold down control key and with mouse wheel, you can change magnification. Next, data from picture. Many times it will happen that someone will send you data in picture format. It is not very helpful because you would need to retype all of this. Here Excel's import data from picture option comes in hand. It is here, in data tab, under get and transform data. You can use picture saved on your computer or this other option, picture from clipboard. Go to your picture, right click on it, copy and now it is saved to clipboard. Select where you want your data, go back to get data from picture, and now choose this option, picture from clipboard. Excel will analyze the picture, maybe ask you to review, like here, this red cell, if it is okay just accept it and insert data. And it is done, same data, but not in picture format anymore. Tip number four. It may happen that almost half of your screen is taken up with the ribbon, and on top of that, you have some frozen rows. It could be hard to review your data like this, and if you want more space for your data, there are solutions, but one of the fastest is just to press Ctrl Shift and F1 and it is done. You are now in full screen mode. To turn this off, just press Ctrl Shift and F1 again. Now, quick access toolbar. Do you have some commands in Excel that you use often? To save time put them in quick access toolbar, this little section on top left corner, here. To do that, just go to command button, for example, let's choose filter, right click it, and select this option, add to quick access toolbar, and we have it, now it is here, ready to be used when you need it. Frozen screen. Sometimes you wouldn't be able to scroll down. It looks like it is frozen, see here, as I am scrolling nothing is moving. Maybe this file was used by someone on bigger screen and they froze some rows below that you can't see. This is easy fix, just go to view tab, and under window section, select to unfreeze panes and it is done. You can see everything now. Number 7 is next. If you want to activate contextual menu in Excel, with your left mouse button you would select your cell, row, or maybe column and then right click on it to activate the menu. You can half this time by just using only right mouse button. Go to your section, where you want to activate contextual menu, and without selecting it, just press right mouse button, and you have it. Reformat text in seconds. With X lookup we want to populate names, here, with data from this table on the right, but we have an error. Formula looks okay, problem is in different number format between these two columns. One column is formatted as number and other as text, and Excel can't work with this, it will return an error. You can reformat this column, but in many situations, fastest way is to just add zero, inside your formula, to the column that you want to format as number. This one here, add zero, and Excel will reformat this column to numbers in the background, while executing a formula. Press enter, copy down, and we have our result, without need to change anything. Copy much faster. If you want to copy or move your sheet, there is no need to use this time-consuming process, with right-clicking on the sheet name, then choosing move or copy and so on. Faster way would be to drag it where you want it. Left click and hold on the sheet name, and drag where you want it. If your intention was to copy the sheet, then just hold down control key before releasing left mouse button. You will see this little plus sign, as indication that sheet will be copied. You can even copy or move it to another workbook like this. While holding the left mouse button, press alt and tab to switch to your other open worksheet and move or copy here, and you are done. And finally invisible data. During some presentations maybe you would need to hide some data on your sheet. One way would be just to change the font of your data to match the background, like this, to white. But then you would need to be careful not to accidentally show this data while changing the color of the background. 
More faster and secure way is to make this numbers truly invisible. Select your data, go here, Home tab, Number Format, this small arrow, choose Custom Format, type in three semicolons and select OK, and that is all. Now your data is still here, but invisible. If you want to get your data back, just change the format. I have some text here that I hid before, I will just select this and go to formatting and change it to general. And we are done. 10 easy ways to save you a lot of time while doing work in Excel.